World Qualification Match 8 here at Purdue Boiler Bot Battle. We're quickly moving into the autonomous period. The first 15 seconds is all completely pre-programmed. So students are not touching the colors quite yet. Points, game pieces scored during this time, get additional points. And it's the only time where you get points for moving outside of your taped areas. As we move into the remainder of the time, we're in the teleoperated period where the students have picked up the controllers that their team built last season and now manipulating the game pieces as they see fit. 829, that's the digital goats out of Indianapolis, is making quick use of a cone out of their human player station, whipping their way across the field to score it for their alliance. Super duper scoring cones also on the blue line station, increasing their score to 35 points. 1741, that's red alert, making their way around into their protected community zone. Those taped off areas can only be entered by a robot of their color without occurring penalties for their alliance. Just shy of placing that on the fifth or third row, trying to score three points. 829, the digital goes successfully creating one link for their team. The name of the game this year is Link. Says three game pieces horizontally in that grid area. You can get a, a, an idea of how many each team has completed by looking in the bottom left and right of that alliance field station view. Currently the blue alliance with two links and the red alliance with one. They'll need additional to get those ranking points, which are, like their name suggests, important for ranking in today's competition. 3484 making use of their unique grabber mechanism to interact with their human player station, grabbing a cube and parading it across the field. This year's game is unique that there's lots of bumper on bumper action in the center of the field that is allowed as long as contact is remained a minimum. Less than 45 seconds remaining in the match. The score is 94 to 32. That's only a couple balance and a couple game pieces away from bringing that back into a tied state. A lot of the time, this is a lot quicker to go over those charge stations than around them, but that does incur more damage to the robot over time. As we move into the end game, we'll start to see robots migrating towards those switch stations, those teeter-totters. They're trying to get as many robots possible into a level configuration to score the maximum amount of points for their alliance. The blue alliance trying to potentially to get three with only eight seconds remaining. Red alliance sitting pretty with all two of their robots. We'll have to see if the blue alliance is able to balance it out with a couple seconds remaining. Both alliances looking pretty good as we move in to see what our scores are like. And here are your scores for qualification match eight. Your winners are the Blue Alliance.
Taking it with a score of 140, that's our new high score here at Boiler Bot Battle. Getting four ranking points, that means they stored enough links, enough points in the charge station, and they won the match, increasing their ranking point average, allowing 3487 to remain in the first rank and moving all their alliance partners up in the rankings as well.